So you've, um, I'm sure, noticed that um, anxiety, the statistics with anxiety with our young people are skyrocketing. I mean, there was a cover magazine of Time, uh, I think last year had this anxiety with young people um, on the cover. And so I guess I'm just wondering, do you have a sense of what is happening in the culture or the larger society that might be kind of producing, perpetuating, um, contributing to this high sense of anxiety among young people? Yeah, I think what you're saying is is true. There, there are people who are, are saying we are actually experiencing an epidemic of anxiety mm -hmm. uh, among adults, but particularly among younger people, children and, and adolescents. The the median age of onset for uh, anxiety in young people is about 11 years old, which means about half of the kids who have anxiety will start to experience it earlier than that, and about half later than that up until about age 18 is where we, 13 to 18 is sort of the age for adolescents that we work with. And I mean, I think there are a number of reasons that we can point to. There's some data on, on this as well. Um, you know, recently school shootings, for example, mm -hmm. have, um, clearly made kids more anxious. I, I know this anecdotally with my own kids mm -hmm. and uh, others, uh, kids that I know. Um, but also there, there's data that's beginning to, to show that, that kids are more anxious about uh, going to school. Um, many people argue that kids experience a lot more pressures at younger ages, uh, socially, academically, um, socioeconomically, than perhaps was the case a generation ago, or at least they're more aware of it. And so uh, I think that's uh, another reason that uh, anxiety is heightened. We're, we're also paying more attention to anxiety, which is a good thing. Um, but when you pay attention to things more clearly, you often notice it more than maybe you did when you weren't paying as close attention to it. Um, so I think, I mean, those are three reasons that I think you're seeing more anxiety, um, identifiable anxiety at younger ages. Um, but, but there are other reasons, too, that we could, we could talk about. Hmm. Yeah, um, I think there's anxiety in the culture about things that are hard to change, like uh, climate change, global warming, um, race relations. And uh, that impacts kids when they hear about them and they feel powerless to change them. Um, and that can contribute to anxiety. There's also kind of the anxiety that I've noticed of kind of status comparisons. Mm -hmm. So there's less and less to go around. So there's a huge gulf between the working class and the, and the elites. But people are on their smartphones all the time kind of seeing, being surrounded by the most kind of like wealthy and successful people. And I think there's a sense in that status game uh, the kids can kind of feel less than or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, and they can start to orient themselves around kind of how can I be successful or achieve in this particular way, which may not be well suited to, for them to begin with. But um, I think I would add kind of uh, smartphones as an exacerbating factor, or how much time people spend on all kinds of media um, as something that might make them more prone to anxiety. The research isn't directly co uh, causal here, but it does seem like more people have had anxiety precisely as smartphone use has increased yeah. uh, exponentially, or media use of all kinds. And maybe some of that is status-related comparisons. And just to piggyback, there, there, we talk to kids and they will identify um, pressures that they're aware of to sort of create a life that may not be um, accurate, but it, it's uh, um, what they expect or, or what they think others expect of them as, as folks who are participating in this sort of status-oriented uh, life at that, at that age, which again, I think we're seeing that phenomenon start earlier in childhood than perhaps it did a generation or two ago. We, you know, grown-ups have been wrestling with status anxiety for a long time. We see it now uh, beginning at younger ages, I think, for the reasons that, that Phil is, is identifying. It's more accessible 24-7, it's more literally in the palm of your hand, um, and that's on the receiving end, but also on the creating end, and so you see kids creating a life uh, that they may think is ideal and, and expect that others um, want to see from them. 